thing like, they used to. Go in there and see how many uses like spot the murals. Be careful when you walk in there though. Oh. See the ones right at the back? Oh yeah. Oh this place is creepy. Oh naked people. Greetings bleepers. How the devil are you and adventurers and anybody else that might be watching this video. I've already, I've done, I've do this as an intro, but I've already, <laughs> you might have guessed I've already been in the sea. <laughs> oh no! We, we're, we're taking a break. So in this video, we're going to do a bit of canoeing whoosh, onto the, onto the, the, the big, what the hell is all that? It's not ticks, is it? Seeds. Seeds. <laughs> onto the big splash and then, we're, I don't even know what I'm talking about. And then we're going to do some metal detecting and some, uh, some mud larking, aren't we? Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. But we're going to, we, we've got sci fines and we've got um, Chris found in the ground. Uh, Chris's first time on the canoe, right? Mm. Yeah, you've done well. <laughs> you haven't died, so it's always a good start. It's anyway, we're going to eat our sandwiches and then we're going to crack on. This is what took us upon our adventures. We come from the land of the ice and snow and all that stuff. Here's my Sevlaw, got my detector on the front, um, spades, stuff. Luckily she's drained now. I did get a bit wet, I had to bail her out. That's Chris's craft for the day. He's got his detector and there's Simon's um, lovely Sevlaw. My Sevlaw's about, about 15 years old now and she's still going, the old girl. So we're on a, an island but we're doing like Crown Foreshore. So we're going to do some mudlarking first and we might do a little bit of detecting, which we can we're, we're allowed to do. Um, tide's gone out. Um, we need to get back on it soonish, I think. Uh, otherwise, we're going to get we're going to get mud flatted. Anyway, yes, we're going to crack on and see what we can find. Straight in with that. What is that? An old milk? Oh. I think I might have treasure. Not the beer. That. And is it an old milk bottle? Oh, I'll have to take that up to Sai. He can have a look. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this little magical thing that Chris has found. A thing of intrigue and... I think it's an alien helmet. It's a double buble. <laughs> I like um, it. <laughs> um, oh. Simon said it was from a crack pipe, but um, I wouldn't know anything about that, but he does, so that's weird, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's the best thing so far. Uh, no, but my, my milk bottle's cool, milk man. Bottle, I left it up there. It's left forlorn up there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh, another, oh, it's broken beer, but oh, it's probably, yeah, probably modern-ish, that one. Ooh. I'll make a speedy walk back. Let's go have a look around these uh, posts. I'll only get the kite down to the post, and we'll do that. So, mate, take the opportunity to have a quick recce, because obviously once we get out there, we don't want to come into a There you go. I'll have a look. There's, there's an insight. Um, so that is a milk bottle. It's not a very good one. It's uh, B St. Curtis, B, oh, I don't know what that says, something milk. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I could probably fall asleep here. I was just telling Chris, just, he's trying to get in. He's not having a <laughs> What are you doing? I've lost my mooring. I've lost my mooring! I'm floating free! This is my... Oh, God. See you later. I'll see you at the pub. I'm just, I'm just randomly floating. Oh, God, I'm on the rocks. Right, I've got to sort this out. Uh, I don't think I could be happier. I really don't. I'm in a boat. I've had a beer. Hello, Simon! Have no luck in the muck. We're ready. No, we haven't had... No, we're going to go to a different location, aren't we? Simon, Simon found a can of beer. <laughs> you lucky little like. <laughs> we got ourselves in a bit of a situation. The mud is... The, the, <laughs> the situation is you can't be asked to get out of your car. I've got Crocs on. No, go that way. Pull me back, pull me back. It suddenly drops off. <laughs> That's good. That's good. You need to get me in that channel. Right, you, you come along. <laughs> Am I floating? No. Get your willy out of the way. <laughs> get your willy out of the way. <laughs> right, come on, boys. It's nothing me. to <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm going to go sideways. It's fine. Yes, I'm floating. Boys, I'm floating. I am floating. <laughs> See you in a bit. <laughs> Right, we're trying to make a catamaran. 
but at the moment we've just made a Moran. We've lost him. Pull me, pull me in, pull me in, pull me in. Yeah, I gotcha. Right. Right, so if you are on the left and you are on the right. Right. And what does that leave you to do? <laughs> I'm just going to hold the catamaran together. So you don't have to hold it. Okay. No, right. You, you, okay, hold on. I'm going to turn my camera off. One second. Yeah, yeah. I'm oh, going to hold his too. I'll put, I'll put the magic I'm there. putting the most effort in. Stuff. What's this thing here? Whoa. What is that? <laughs> That's the handle to something, look. Cool. That is awesome. Look at how it's just sticking out, sticking out the ground. It's got a floral pattern on it. Oh, that's cool. I can clean that up. See, my eyes are still trained on metals. What's that? Handle or something? Pull handle? Yeah, probably. I think I've just found a hammered. Just very worn. Oh, it could be. That could be. I'm not 100% sure because I can't get any definition of it, but hey, hey, that's a good sign. Little congregation of metals here. I don't know if you can see them. It's like kind of rivet looking things, I guess. And then, oh, that's a bullet. No, that's an old bullet, that is. Oh, cool. Look at that. All just sitting there, isn't that weird? Right, I'm, I'm in the splash again. And I see something looks whole there. Let's get in together and get it. Oh. oh, so close. So close. Conned. Oh, nice to see a jellyfish actually alive. I think I might, because this tide's moving out and I'm kind of following it out. You're going to get trapped there, aren't you? So let's... Uh, Let's get you saved, dude. Because there's a few dead ones I can see dotted about. I'm going to need a stick or something. Or should I just pick it up with my hand? No, that's probably not a good idea, is it? There you go. Hopefully I'm not hurting it too much. Just pushing it gently. Yeah, that's cool. I thought he was dead for a second then. Or she. Or it. <coughs> Done. I don't know how to live anymore. <laughs> I remember when it was just he and she. I'm so confused. Go on, little fella. Oh, this is going to take ages, right? You don't need to see this. Whoa, look at that. What does that say? Prize medal for marmalade. London, 1862. Cool. That's weird and interesting little thing. It's like got lines down that side. Dots that side. It's metal. Yeah. Bottle stopper there. Not in great condition. Still a bottle stopper though. Chris, so you're, do, you, do you like canoeing? It's hateful and awful and it's the worst thing <laughs> I've done in my entire life and I nearly died. <laughs> Simon found this treasure. Hey. I'm a bit of a mess. I've got to go. Where's you? lost the croc? I lost the croc. I've only got one croc. It's the other ones out there. That. Well, what happened was, is when we first, when we set sail, all of this was a river. And then it just went, shoo! Um, yeah, so it's been a bit of a nightmare. We've been banked quite a few times, unfortunately. Woo, pub. Yeah, pub. I have to intervene here just to keep the story going so you, you don't get confused. We got into that pub, we had a few pints, we met this old fisherman who had like barnacles for a face and he had an old straw hat which had corks coming down from it. Anyway, he told us that back in the 60s when the Isle of Wight festival was going on, when you had like bands like Hendrix and Zeppelin and The Who and stuff like that, there was a nudist colony and apparently Jimi Hendrix had buried all of his riches in this colony. So we thought, nah, I've had enough of life. I've had enough of this. We just packed up, we got in our canoes and we sailed all the way down there to Isle of Wight. It took us two months. Chris filled an actual whole black sack of poo. It was a hard journey, my friends, but we're professionals. And we were just thinking of this treasure, you know, and it's this nudist colony. What a story. So anyway, what you're seeing now is what happened from then on. All right. Oh, it's a bit of a trek to get to this abandoned village. It's a big trek to get to this abandoned village. Oh, good Lord, man. Oh. I've got to get up on top of that up there. 
not the cliff, that's where everything's come down from apparently. Yeah, I've got to climb that. Cool. And these two are taking their time. A couple of old men. Let's go. Well, I don't see anything yet. I don't even know if we're in the right place. It might be down there. It might be down. Oh, I don't know. Show us where it is. Would have been easier. It's fun getting here though. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's beneath us because the black, I won't name the road, the road with tarmac is, is down there. Yeah. Maybe this is a red herring. Yeah. We found a, uh, Simon's just found a uh, maybe a cellar, yeah. There was an old manor here that was completely destroyed when the whole cliff came down, wasn't it? Didn't it? Yeah. So we think Cy si reckons this might be the site. I know for a fact the road's where the road is, because I've um, just kind of been plotting it as I go. So I think if we move forward a little bit more, we might get lucky. These guys have walked past this. That's interesting. That's not natural, is it? That's a man built something or other god it would have taken some effort look oh, at that that comes from the stream up above it is an old it's an old uh disused well isn't it that would have been the fresh water you could see the piping up there couldn't you well, this might be part of the manor I yeah i think this, it's part of the manor too, too fancy for just uh it's a folly isn't it a water hippie. it's not a hippie it's not a hippie thing is it it's a good place for food, isn't it? and over here we've got yeah we've got buildings we got derelict buildings so these would have all come down and been smashed in the uh wow i'm on the roof here when all of the landslide came down i think if i go around this way i'll have a better chance of showing you all right okay got an old uncle tom's an old yeesh this doesn't look very good in there does it all of the stuff has been completely left as it was, look at there's a chimney snack stack there. Hmm. I wonder if it's worth looking up that. I think we used to hide stuff, you know. Lots of old stone buildings. Another one down there. Another one over there. You probably just see it. I'm not sure. Carry on this way. Ah, this is part of the manor. Look. It's just this random old pillar just sitting there by itself. How cool is that? Overlooking that view. <laughs> it's amazing. There's more down there, but I think that's probably the cliff edge. So this manor would have sat here, looking over. Wow. I had a pretty gutted when I had to abandon that. Looks like it's actually, is that part of, it says private, so I'm just gonna have a peek. I think someone might actually be living in there. Good on them, I say. Good on you. Lovely. There's the old walls look. Literally all fallen down there. The landslide. Wow. Ah, amazing. And up there, look. We just toppled over. It's creepy. So Simon's, uh, Simon and Chris have found some murals. The, the thing about this place that I am now is that it hosted the Isle of Wight Festival in the 60s, I want to say. Is it the 60s, Si? 1970. 1970. And Hendrix played uh, The Who, I think, um, The Doors. A lot of hippie action, a lot of naked people. And where we are now, found out, this is a nudist colony. And obviously God was really angry with them. The schlongs waving in the wind and set upon them with a cliff and destroyed them. <laughs> I'm only joking, I'm only joking. That would have been mean. Ooh! Um, but Simon has just told me he's found something very cool here, which could date back to that. Nude people, basically. Let's go and have a squeeze. Where are we going, Si? Where's he gone? Where are you, bro? Yeah. Uh, oh, cool. There are bits of old cars, really old cars, right? Yeah, probably it's all the same here. I don't know what, what, what they were doing driving down here, but... Well, there was a road, wasn't there? Back of the matter. Oh, wow. There's a vent there, so this is probably this is like cornerstone, isn't it, or something? Yeah. This isn't the pillar I was talking about, by the way. 
that's the, over there. Whoa, this place is awesome. My shoelace has come down about 100 times today. Looks like a little Renault 5 in there, Si. Yeah, we've got to get all your, uh, all your thing bobs down here somehow, haven't you? Yeah, bloody hell. Well, not, you don't have to carry your clothes down here because I didn't have any. Sorry, mate, you can't park there. <laughs> can't park there, sir. All right, look at this. So we've got some cellars. Full old machinery, water there, natural source. Oh, old stuff. Lots of just stuff in there. Yeah, let's have a look around the corner. Old engines. Oh, for God's sake. Okay. Oh. Nah, it's just a filled in room, so. Si. I'm just waiting for the donkey gin to come up. You don't know what that is, do you? No, donkey? Donkey gin. It's an old film. I think it was called uh, Frog Dreaming. <laughs> it's it awesome. Is it like the bog of eternal stench? It kind of is, but um, this beast comes up like. Oh, you can Google it, Google it. Sorry, I don't waste your time. <laughs> Gas canisters in there. Right, uh. Do you want to see some art, Chris? Do you want to see some art? I do, I want to see some naked people. Right, right, oh. right, to the right place. Sorry. Thank you, sir. Um, interesting. How the hell. Why is that there? A satellite dish. Well, you can see satellite TV. <laughs> when did this place go under? Well, maybe they used it as like. Oh, it's just rubbish. Is it a satellite? I don't think it is a satellite. No, though. it's not, is it? I think it might be a. I think it actually it is. It is a satellite because there's a little. Uh, I don't know. It's probably an Isle of Wight festival yeah, thing right, they used to. Go in there and see how many uses like spot the murals. Be careful when you walk in there, though. Oh. So, see the ones right at the back? Oh, yeah. Oh, this place is creepy. Oh, naked people. Ah. Dude, this is. This sucks. What? I don't like it in here. It's scaring me. Did you walk all across these boards? We went just around that pillar. You saw those? How did you get over there to the naked yeah, people? Yeah, around there the other side. Oh, naked people! Dun, 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 dun. They've got. They are sacrificing a baby, <sighs> and that's a picture of the Isle of Wight behind them. S baby sacrificing the Isle of Wight. That's the title of this video. And then we got. Shelves, just shelves, naked dude. Uh, I want to see those naked people over there. Right, here we are. Filthy. In more ways than one, Simon. Yeah, no, it's gross, but it's cool. Oh. So, here we are, look. Naked people. Any sacrificing going on here? In the Isle of Wight? God, I can't believe they sacrificed babies here. I was enjoying myself until I learnt that. It's a bit out of order, isn't it? And then you've got some naked people over there with a the sun. It's all very pagan, man, isn't it? It's got a real pagan vibe about it. This is, uh, these are actually signed. Signed by who? Ralph Harris. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's a sun. Say, don't like her. she looks like she's been up to some business. Right, okay, yeah, this is, I like the murals, the rest of it you sucks, though. Just stand there, you can see that one. I can get a full one of that. Where is I'm go There's a little lady down here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, why is she naked? It's the nakedest kind of human. Well, I mean, it's a, bit, it's a bit, you know what I mean? It's a bit, don't do that. Give her some clothes. She looks too young oh, to I'll be tell you what we can do. around that dodgy looking there bloke. He's got hey. a ginger beard. <laughs> oh, God. Aha! Let's cover up a mollusk. Very good, old boy. <laughs> yeah, very good. Very Adam and Eve-esque. Okay, right. I wouldn't. That's awful. Look at that dude schlong and how near it is oh to that God. kid's head. Didn't see that there. Ah, that can't happen. I'm sorry. That's got to go. Um, but the rest of it's pretty cool. Yeah, apart from dude's schlongs. Just stuck my head under that cold stream down there. It's gorgeous. Ah, uh, no Hendrix's treasure. Alas, found a nudist colony, you know, but there's no way we were getting under all that trash to find it. Anyway, a um, bit of a strange one, this one, but <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it in some way, and I'll see you in the next one. There will be a next one, I promise. Mm -hmm.